post fight review to the Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier three fight. Now this is gonna be a very good analysis on that fight. I think that well the fight didn't last very long, so I guess this video is not gonna last very long either. But the first round, Conor comes out hot, starts throwing a lot of leg kicks. Dustin checks those leg kicks very well. Then Conor just keeps throwing punches. Dustin takes them on the chin and basically rolls with a lot of those punches and he starts to counter Connor. Come forward, starts to counter him. Connor actually initiates the clinch there, which is kind of surprising because before the fight, he was saying the first one to shoot is a is a, is a you know, a B word. But like the first one to shoot is a bitch, but you are the first one to shoot. And then you say Dustin is leaving on a stretcher, but you get cough kicked. No, you get your leg checked, your leg kick checked, and your ankle breaks, and you have to leave on a stretcher. So it's very it's 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 a classic representation of how your words can come back to bite you. You know, you got to be able to back up your trash talk at all times or you'll eat your words. And that's what poor Conor McGregor, con artist Conor McGregor, that's what he did. He ate his words because, yeah, okay, let's talk about the rest of the fight. The rest of the fight, Dustin, you know, he comes forward, they clinch, and then Conor goes for the guillotine. That's another thing. Connor is going for a guillotine. So before the fight, again, he said that taps and all these other things, they don't matter to me. The only thing that he cares about is knockouts. So his record would be only 19-1 and one because he's only ever been finished one time by Dustin. He doesn't care about submissions. He only cares about knockouts. And then he goes for a submission. He goes for a guillotine choke. So everything that he's been saying before the fight is basically noise like Dustin said in the post fight interview I agree with him because there's nothing that Connor is saying that can be genuine his words are not genuine words he's saying that to promote the fight and then after the fight he is calling out Dustin's wife calling her calling her out and saying that she was in his DMs blah 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 like the man is insane He's threatening to murder Dustin Poirier's entire family. For what? Like, I don't understand the whole the whole point of that. Because you lost the mixed martial art fight. How many other fights have you lost? Khabib, you got choked out. Nate Diaz, you got choked out. Why didn't you threaten Nate Diaz? Why didn't you threaten Khabib? I mean, I know you said a lot of crazy things to Khabib, and that's why you got mauled. But come on, man, that's such a low level of class kind of disgusted me watching the post-fight interview and then his coach is blaming uh, Joe Rogan for interviewing him but the man was shouting to Dustin Poirier during his post-fight interview wanting to get interviewed he was shouting from across the room on the ground with a cast on his leg he can't even stand up or move and he's still talking shit so it kind of tells you that Connor's not genuine, his trash talk is not genuine, he doesn't even believe the things he says, he says it for shock value and views, he says it for promotion and to make more money, that's oh, that's the only thing that Connor cares about, that's what it appears to me, I mean he has no integrity, no integrity, none whatsoever, how are you going to call out another man's wife? Like, that's a line that you don't cross. Family, religion, politi politics. He doesn't actually talk about politics, but religion, family, all these things are things that have nothing to do with the fight. So why would you even mention those things? What's wrong with you? Like, you lose a lot of energy when you're uh, talking when you're talking and talking and talking and talking, trying to get into someone else's head, you lose a lot of energy, a lot of mental energy. You should focus on yourself. Focus on trying to become a better fighter 
Focus on beating Dustin Poirier by focusing on yourself, making sure that you are the best that you can be on fight night. Connor was too was too preoccupied with Dustin and the DMs and the hot sauce and all these other crazy. Connor was already was 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 caught up in the hype. Connor is caught up in his own hype. Connor is caught up in the glitz and the glamour of it all and and then calling out um, um, uh, someone's wife calling out this and that and that and that threatening to kill somebody it's not that serious it's just another fight it's not that serious you, you win or you lose you make money and then you go home and then you fight again and then if you win enough then you become tamp champion if you lose enough you get fired from the ufc and cut that's how the business works so i think it's a cutthroat business but even with all that money i don't understand why he has to be s- you see the real connor was in the first fight with dustin he was being nice that was the real connor the second fight i don't think he even understand connor doesn't even believe the things that was coming out of his mouth in the post fight i guess the adrenaline pumped him up a little bit but your legs in agony and you're still talking shit that that kind of shows me Connor's mentality but I think he's a piece of shit. He's a terrible person. He's full of shit, bag of shit, and it's all noise basically. From now on, I don't think his trash talk is going to be effective anymore. So he probably needs to throw that gimmick away. Be nice from now on, Connor, because your trash talk is not going to work anymore. He might be done from mixed martial arts as a whole. I don't think Connor is going to be able to beat anybody in the top 10, anybody in the top 15. He's not going to beat Benil Dario. She's not going to beat Islam Makachev. He's not going to even going to be able to beat RDA. I don't think he can beat RDA. I think a good fight would be Tony Ferguson, but Tony is old and washed up. But the the fight that the UFC will put on next for Connor that makes the most sense is Nate Diaz with a trilogy, but he probably will lose that fight too because he's not as hungry as he once was, man. He really isn't. But anyways, man, that's my thought on the post fight, uh, on the fight, Connor and Dustin, the trilogy. Um, you know, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that stuff. If you guys want to like and comment and subscribe, do that. If you want to dislike the video, go ahead and do that as well. I'm out, peace.